let's continue. Um, I think we have some limit graphing to draw now. So uh, let's uh, let's just sketch here very 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 rough sketch. All right, all right. So this is seven. Oops. So this is seventy six. The limit as x tends to two is one. So let's just say two is there, and uh, one is there. So we definitely get this point here. Um, the limit as x tends to 4 from the negative is 3 but from the positive is 6 and f4 is not defined well i can do that i think i want to make this graph a little smaller though uh, so 2 ah i'll draw this graph better Okay, so firstly, at one we get two. Oh, sorry, at, at two we get one, so that's definitely on it. I, I'm going to just use one square as one unit, just to keep it simple. Um, and then four, one, two, three, four. Uh, from the left gives us three, one, two, three. But from the right gives us six. Um, and F four is not defined, so it's open here and here. So I don't know. We could draw I don't know some some graph like this. I think that would do the job. So at two. We definitely get one and then at four from the left we get three uh, but then at four from the right we get six so um, I, I think that's okay i think that's okay let's have a look at uh 77. so 77 now um as x goes to minus infinity, we get zero. So there's, a, there's an asymptote here. Um, as x goes to minus one from the left, we get minus infinity. But when x goes to minus one from the right, we get positive infinity. So there's a there's an asymptote here. And um, we're going down here and up here. Um, F of zero is one. And F of infinity is minus infinity. So we're actually shooting down here. So I'm thinking some graph that is uh, shooting up here and then just falling away and then um oh do i have that right sorry f minus one yeah and then this is an asymptote here and then it's it's going down like that this one's going up here like that uh i think i have it right let's check the answer at the back Yeah, that's consistent with what I drew. Answers may vary, of course. Okay, okay. All right. Whoops, I'm happy. Well, reasonably happy.
Okay, uh, next one now. Seventy eight. Um, as x goes to minus infinity, we've got a two, so there's a two asymptote here. Um, but I don't know if it's under or over. My a, a tree, a tree. From the left, we have minus infinity, and then from the right, we have plus infinity. So there's going to be acts like this. Um, so I, I think that kind of answers my question here. Uh, and this is minus a third, so it's going to be going like that and that is minus a third there um, and then with f infinity is 2 um, and so yeah I think I think we're just looking we're just looking at some some graph like that I think that's that's that is it that's a tree there. Okay, 79 now. Seventy-nine. Um again it's at uh, it's at a two. an asymptote right so my infinity is a two um, and then at minus two we get minus infinity so another asymptote here okay minus 2 we get minus infinity from both directions it looks like at infinity we get 2 and at 0 we get 0 so so I'm thinking something like this would do the job and, and that's I remember that's what they had at the back wasn't it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Eighty. Eighty. Okay. At minus infinity, we get zero, so the x-axis is an asymptote. At minus one. From the left, we're shooting up to infinity. Um, but minus one from the right, we're going to be going down. So there's a upwards one and a downwards one here. Um, at zero, we get minus one. Um, at one, from the left we get minus infinity. So there's like a, okay, so I think I can see what's happening in the middle here. It's some shape like this. So this would mean, uh, and then that's a zero. And then a one plus, so a, a one from the right, it's going up to infinity. And is this one a one from the left going up to infinity? Am I, yeah, so it's 
it's some shape like that. Yeah, so, something like that. And I, I hope I'm doing these okay. Um, these are a bit tricky. All right, that's 80, hopefully. Um, now, 81 and 82. Shockwaves arise in many physical applications. A graph of the density of shockwave with respect to distance x is shown here. We are mainly interested in the location of the front of the shockwave labeled uh, SF in the diagram. Mm -hmm. Evaluate the limit as x tends to. Uh, okay. 81. Okay. So we want as x tends to xff from the right. So that would be row two. As x tends to xsf from the left. Uh, so that would be row one. And then evaluate that. Um, this divergent. Um, because of the vertical steepness there, discontinuous. The physical meaning, though? Oh, why would you express this as? I guess <laughs> you try to look at the shock wave from before or from... from <laughs> depends how you approach the shock wave, um, I think is what we want to try and say. I wonder what they say at the back, because I'm going to have trouble articulating this. Yeah, 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 okay, it's just what I was saying, actually, yeah, it depends which way you approach the shock wave, um, it, it affects uh, your view of it, so that makes sense, okay, so that's 166 then, uh, back to 166, so then lastly, now, let's grab this last one here, 82, Okay, 82. Uh, a track coach uses a camera with a fast shutter to estimate the position of a runner with respect to time. A table of the values of positions of the athlete versus time is given here, where x is the position in meters of the runner and t is the time. What is the limit as t tends to 2 of xt? What does it mean? A track coach uses a camera with a fast shutter to estimate the position of a runner. Okay, so these are positions, how far into the race they ran. A table is the position of the athlete versus time, where x is the position in meters of the runner and t is the time. What is the limit as t tends to? What does it mean? Well, okay, well, it's going to be a little bit more than 6.42, a little bit less than 6.58. I'm going to estimate it as um, just the average of the two. 6.42 plus 6.58 divided by 2. That's uh, 6.5 meters. What does it mean? Well, it means that they ran 6.5 meters in two seconds, um, I guess. This, unless I'm missing something here, I think this is all we have to say for this. Um, what does it mean? Limit as t tends to 2? Yeah. What else is there really to say? Um, yeah, okay. That's the last question anyway, so let's not dwell on it too much. Uh, okay, so that's another exercise complete. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's wrap it up there. And if there's any problems, just let me know in the chat. See you next time.